Today we're going to explore different features of Leonardo AI, one by one. We'll explain how you can generate enthralling images with minimum effort. First, we're going to tell you exactly what a Leonardo AI is. Leonardo AI is an online platform for stable diffusion. It's highly user-friendly and free to access. It provides a daily allocation of 150 tokens, which is a handful of tokens per day. So, let's begin the tutorial. Number 1. Website Login In order to use Leonardo AI, you can simply visit their website. Upon visiting, you'll be asked to log in, which you can simply do by entering your Google or other mentioned accounts. Once you have logged in, you'll be taken to the homepage of the Leonardo AI website. On the homepage, you'll see the heading of Get Started, under which there are multiple options to select from. Number 2. Fine-Tuned Models If you're new to Stable Diffusion, you can simply head to the Fine-Tuned Models section, which is present on the left side of the website. These models are data sets that have gone under training using a specific kind of image. Let's say you opt for Anime Pastel Dream Model, which is designed for giving you a typical Japanese anime look. In contrast, if your preference is for a more realistic model, you can choose the Photo Real Model. Your choice of model should be parallel to your requirements, and for that, you'll have to experiment a bit. If you want further details about the models, you can simply click on them. It'll show you the created examples on how you can experiment with the model. If you're eager to explore a certain model, you can simply click on the model and press the Generate with this model button. There's another way too, which we'll discuss later. Number 3. Community Feed Coming back to the homepage, You'll see a designated section of community feed. Here you can go through a plethora of images that have been designed by other users. If an image captures your interest, you can simply click on it to see the details on how it was made. Upon clicking, you'll come across the prompts that were used in order to make this image, and also the negative prompts that became a hurdle of the process. You can also see the sample, base models, and fine-tuned models they used. This information is visible, so you can make the same model if you wish by using the same number present on the tab. Number 4. Homepage Exploring the homepage further, you'll see the additional community feed section under Home. Here you can even get a closer look at the community-made models. Under this section, you will see the personal feed section. Here you can see the images you yourself have created. Following this, we have the section of training and datasets, which transcends into a more complex concept that requires a video of its own. Next, we have the fine-tuned models section. In this, you have two options. One is the platform models, which are created by Leonardo AI, while the other section is one of the community models, which are crafted by the community members. Your model section represents the models that you've trained by using the training and datasets feature. Number 5. AI Image Generation In order to create your own image, you can select the AI Image Generation option, which is present on the homepage, as well as on the navigation bar of the website. By clicking on the option, you'll get a window on which there is an empty field. You can enter your prompt over here. Below the prompt field, you have the option to select a model. And if you want to look at a different model, you can select the Other Models option. Here you can select from the range that we explored earlier in the video. You can click on the model of your choice and select Generate with this model option. You will also have the option to enable the negative prompt on the window in order to exclude the features you don't want in your image. You can also highlight some negative prompts by putting brackets around them. By this, you'll be able to get rid of the odd features and deformities in your image. By adding the highlighted negative prompts, you can further enhance your image. Scrolling down, you'll come across three tabs, Generation History, Image Guidance, and Prompt Generation. In the Prompt Generation tab, you can get ideas of more detailed prompts, mainly by a one-word search. Like if you search for a tree in the search bar, you'll get a number of different ideas that suit the word. On the left side of the window, you can choose the number of images you want to get from the prompt you input. Four is the best option for you, as it gives the right amount of diversity you might want. 
Below it is the photoreal option, which if enabled can produce hyper-realistic photos and portraits, but it requires alchemy to be activated as well. Speaking of alchemy, it's below the photoreal option. Once activated, it enhances the image by boosting contrast and adding finer details. Although it's a premium feature, you can use it five times for free in order to experiment with it. Under it is the Prompt Magic V2. This feature betters the influence of your prompt and outputs images that are closer to your prompt. You can raise or lower its strength and enable high contrast as well. Coming next is the Public Images option. This is a premium option which lets you share your image to the community feed. Scrolling further will guide you to the Image Resolution segment through which you can adjust the dimensions of your images. 1024 by 1024 is the optimal resolution that the AI sets for you, although you can change it per your liking. You can also set the aspect ratio to your desire. For example, if you want something close to an Instagram or YouTube short, you can choose the 9 by 16 aspect ratio. Further down is the guidance scale. If you opt for a lower number on this scale, your image will have less resemblance to your prompt. The optimal number for the guidance scale is 7. Coming back to the window, we have the Image Guidance tab. Through this tab, you can upload an image of your liking to serve as a reference to your prompt. Number 6. Canvas Editor Coming back to the home page, we have the Canvas Editor option on the navigation bar. In the Canvas Editor feature, you have the ability to take an existing image and craft it even further. Let's take an image and explore this feature. Having this image in sight, we have a box to navigate through the screen. The purpose of this box is to be half placed in the image and half outside of it, so that the intentions are clear to Leonardo AI. This helps the AI to figure out what image we want to input in the blank part of the box. It's like we are expanding the visual scope of the image. We can get the desired images by typing in the empty box. By so doing, the AI will show us the results and we can choose what best completes our image. All in all, Leonardo AI has become one of the best platforms used for stable diffusion. Its user-friendliness has put it forth immensely. There are some tabs and options that we were unable to cover in this video due to their complexity as they require a detailed video of their own. We'll definitely look into these aspects in the future. These were some of the basic features of Leonardo AI, and for more videos like these in the future, stay tuned!